Hello friends. In this video, I am going to discuss some MCQ type of question with answers. Orally, I am giving all these uh, for the examination, net and set. King Lear is a play written by William Shakespeare. Here we find a character, Edgar, brother of Edmund, elder brother of Edmund. And Edmund is the illegitimate son of Gloucester. This elder brother Edgar says to Gloucester, rightness is all. And this happens in Act 5, Scene 2. Here the information rightness is all is important. Next information. Oxford lectures on poetry. Oxford lectures on poetry. This book was published in 1909. It was written by whom? The answer is Andrew Cecil Bradley whom we know A.C. Bradley. Next, what is the theme of A Midsummer Night's nice Dream? Written by William Shakespeare. The answer is Sexual Positiveness. There are many themes but this is the main theme. Sexual Positiveness. Next, what is the main theme of Othello by Shakespeare? The main theme of Othello is Sexual Jealousy. What is the main theme of Macbeth? The answer is Vaulting Ambition. Now I am telling you some names of the play uh, written by Shakespeare based on Plutarch's life. Life of Plutarch. Based on the life of Plutarch, Shakespeare wrote the play like Julius Caesar, Anthony and Cleopatra, Coriolanus. I am reading Julius Caesar, Anthony and Cleopatra, Coriolanus. What is the last line or last words of Hamlet? The answer is the rest is silence. The rest is silence. Next friend, I am telling you a line. For there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Who says this and to whom? The answer is Hamlet says this line to Rosencrantz. Another information. Who wrote Rosencrantz and Guildenstein are dead? This is my question. Try to find the answer. Next information. Who published the poems of uh, Emily Dickinson? We know Emily Dickinson is an American poet. Who published her poem? The answer is Lavinia. Her sister Lavinia published after her death. Uh, she published about 1800 poems. These poems are written by Emily Dickinson. Another important point, point Algernon Charles Swinburne, whom we know as A.C. Swinburne, he wrote an elegy. The name of the elegy is The Four Second Garden. And this was written on death of someone. And who, uh, who is that person? The answer is Baudelaire. On the death of Baudelaire, A.C. Swinburne wrote this elegy, The Four Second Garden. Now I am telling you a name of a novel. The name is The Boys of Captain Popanila. It was published in 1828. It was written by Benjamin Disraeli. It is called a modern Gulliver's travel. This is important. Next question. Who wrote the essay The Tradition and Individual Talent? The answer is T.S. Eliot. It was published in 1919. Another 
the great tradition. It was also an essay. Who wrote it? The answer is F. R. Levis. It was published in 1948. One is tradition and individual talent. Another is the great tradition. The first one is written by T. S. Eliot, and second one is by F. R. Levis. First one published in 1919. Second one. 1948. First one is the essay, second one is the essay, but literary criticism better to say. T.S. Eliot wrote another essay called The Function of Criticism. And to him, what is the function of the critics or criticism? The answer is the function of the criticism is elucidation of works of art and correction of taste. I am repeating elucidating of works of art and correction of taste. Next, what is the name of the first novel of Raja Rao, an Indian writer? The answer is Kanthapura. Kanthapura is the name of a village of South India. It was originally written in France and published in 1938. What is the theme? The theme is the eternal struggle between good and evil. It was narrated by an old woman of the village. And the name of that old woman is Achakka. Here we can see the uh, struggle of Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi struggle uh, campaign, a campaign for freedom. And that campaign was going on or started in 1930s. In 1930s, the uh, freedom movement, civil disobedience was going on under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. Central figure of this village in this novel also, Murthy advised the villagers to use what? The answer is Swarkha. He lived with a widow. What is the name of that widow? The name of that widow is Rangama. Who wrote The Serpent and the Rope? It is a novel. The answer is Raja Rao. It was published in 1960. In this novel, he has fully absorbed the assertion of the culture or assimilated culture of the West. Here we can find or he represents. Serpent is the symbol of illusion and roof is the symbol of reality. Raja Rao commented on his novel Kanthapura and he said this novel, uh, this novel is a veritable grammar of the Gandhian myth. His another novel is The Cat and Shakespeare. It is also called A Tale of India. The setting or time period of this novel was 1942. The famine of 1942 we can find here. Actually it is a fable of two friends and who are those? The answer is first name is uh, Gabindan Nayar and the second one is a clerk. These were two friends. We know Rajmohan's wife is the first Indian novel in English by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Tell me the publication year, year of the publication. The answer is 1864. We know Zibi Shaw, George Bernard Shaw. He was awarded a Nobel Prize in 1925. Criticizing the theory of art for art's sake, he wrote that for art's sake alone, I would not face the toil of writing a single sentence. That means he was not eager to write even a single sentence only for the sake of the writing. Only for, uh, or he was not supporter of the art for art's sake. To him, art should represent something more. Next information. 
the ascent of f6 i am telling again the ascent of f6 it is two acts play it was written jointly by w h oden and christopher isarut or isarut it was published in 1936 it was a poetic drama and tragedy in 1904 who published a book called shakespearean tragedy 1904 the answer is a c bradley next who refinished shakespeare's play the cymbeline the answer is g b shaw refinished this word is the key word now i am telling you a line said by some um, famous person i think or i write plays with the deliberate purpose to convert the nation to my opinion who says the answer is g b shaw and this speech by shaw shows that he was a social reformer sometimes question is asked like that among these four or three who was not buried in westminster abbey find out the name who was not buried to answer this question we should know some names who are buried i am telling you some names who are buried in westminster abbey first one geoffrey chaucer he was buried in 1400 next francis beaumont next sir john denham next john dryden next matthew prior these are the some there are many now i am telling you about uh, 100 years war it started in 1333 this is not the exact point of time but near about this 1337 to 1453 1337 to 1453 between england and france england and france it lasted for uh, near about 116 years and these lead to heavy taxation and drain of wealth wastes of wealth next tell me who wrote frankenstein the answer is mary shelley wife of pb shelley it was published in 1818 and what is the subtitle subtitle of this uh, novel the answer is modern prometheus it is actually a science fiction a romance we find here tell me what are the reasons of writing the sonnets from portuguese we know it it was written by elizabeth barrett browning wife of uh, robert browning who i she wrote by the name of this or um, she wrote with this title first one robert browning called his wife my little portuguese another thing mrs browning was inspired by 16th century portuguese poet the name of the poet is camions c a m o e n s these are the two main reasons next elizabeth barrett browning wrote a blank verse novel name name of the novel is aurora lay Aurora Lay has 9 books it was published in 1856 it is written in first person narrative the heroine or protagonist of this novel is Aurora who is the first recipient of sahitya academy award for writing in english the answer is R K Narayan he was awarded 
in 1960 1960 for the novel the guide the guide was published in 1958 when shakespeare's first folio was published the answer is 1623 in this first folio there were 36 plays and in this folio um, in, the, in this folio pericles was not involved and now i am telling you a line shakespeare is a great worth of wit but with a million of repentance who criticized or commented about shakespeare with this line the answer is robert green we know robert green was uh, university wit next matthew arnold also commented on shakespeare matthew arnold said others abide by our question thou art free friends objective correlative is a term we know and it was first used by whom the answer is washington alson washington alson an american painter he first used this term later it, this term was popularized by t s eliot next we heard the name of sinua acibe a nigerian writer author he was a negro from africa he wrote a trilogy trilogy of novels and in that trilogy we find the novels like things fall apart no longer at ease arrow of god these three novels we can find in his trilogy in things fall apart we find the setting or uh, setting is uh, in nigeria and uh, igbo culture igbo community we can find there next information uh, boss b o s s boss is the name of a novel it was written by patrick white and patrick white uh, is australian writer and this boss is the protagonist of the novel and his real name is ludwig patrick white got nobel prize in 1973 1973 boz was taking journey to australia in this novel in the story we get the information that uh, he was taking journey to australia and he was uh, in this novel uh, compared to god christ and devil he was compared to god christ jesus christ and devil in this novel he uh, he speaks a famous line the line is the map i will first make it this hero was in love with laura l a u r a the name of the beloved of boss was laura next i am telling you a line for john dunn every thought was like an experience who said this about john dunn the answer is t s eliot t s eliot in his essay metaphysical poetry in his essay metaphysical poetry he wrote or commented like this viewers my computer is not working well this is why i cannot uh, show you the slides uh, i am orally making this video giving you this information in the next video i will provide you much more if you like uh, you can uh, subscribe it